they got a coach, J.D., Mike Tomlin, who's in his 17th season. And this is one of the things, I'm just going to throw this at you. Maybe it's a dumb question, but I'm going to throw it at you anyway because there are 49er fans that are, are in the Super Bowl or bus category. If I told you right now that Kyle Shanahan essentially, I know he's got seven, it's his seventh year, um, but would have Mike Tomlin's record. Are 49er fans taking it? Yeah, I think one so. One Super Bowl would do yeah, it. Yeah, one Super Bowl got to another Super Bowl, which I guess Shanahan's already got that part sure. to it. With all the... Yeah, I think so. I wonder. I wonder if... And then Kyle Shanahan could say, in 17 years, I got to the Super Bowl twice. Like Sometimes that doesn't feel like enough for Niner fans. In in a crazy kind of way. Well, they got to get the one because it's been so long, right? And then I think at that point everything changes. Yeah, I yeah. Yeah, the the clock. I mean, we're already what? This is this is the seventh year. Seventh year for yeah. This is the seventh year. So you win one this year, and you get five or six more years. And then at that point, you're all at that point, you're already to thirteen years. So you wouldn't even really there wouldn't even really be any doubt. I feel like for another five or six. Oh yeah, if Shanahan if they won this year. If Shanahan wins it this year, like he's golden for five more years, I would think. Uh, well, let's take it the other way, JD. Let's say, let's say this team doesn't make the playoffs. Let's say just something something happens and and it it kind of goes wrong. Uh, how much leash does Kyle Shanahan have? I mean, I know he's not going to get fired after one bad year, but I feel like he's two years away from being like it would almost have to be this year and next year I kind of feel awry, so. and then. And then the third year, there'd be some heat, maybe. Yeah, I, I kind of do, too. Like he's not a year away. Like, like I'll use the Giants as an example. All right. Giants, obviously, in a bad way right now. Yep. Uh, sounds like Farhan and Kapler are going to be back next year regardless. Okay. But if the Giants don't make the playoffs the way that they're going to not make the sure. playoffs if they don't, they both have heat on them next year. No doubt. Like that, uh, Absolutely. Like, they are... They are a year like they are a year away with this being the year. Yeah. Right? No, I agree with Shanahan's that. Shanahan's not it a year a bad year away from being on the hot seat. No. Now I'm, that being I'm said, if this team if this team doesn't make the playoffs this year, then look at like, something so, went, I mean something went really I wrong. I almost can't even imagine it aside from your top 10 players, 6 of them get hurt, 5 of them get hurt. Like for the year, right, right. I yeah. I mean, I I feel like they got they're going to win ten games regardless. You can chalk them up for ten games, assuming everybody's there. Question is, will Bosa be there week one? Will Purdy be there week in and week out? Uh, I'm going to get to this some of this Mike Tomlin sound in in a minute, JD, because uh, he, he said some very flattering things about the Niners. But let's go to uh, let's go to Lamar. Lamar's in uh, Nevada. What's up, Lamar? No, I'm in uh, New York. Oh, New York. In New All York. Right. All right. How you doing, buddy? I just got a call. I just got. I'm good. Uh, I'm a diehard Niner fan, and you know, I feel like this is prop Mariah's fault because he should have knew this was coming. And right about now, looking at the defense, if Bosch is not there, we're not going to stop that run. We're not going to stop that run. Okay. And that's crazy. And we need him to stop that run. Because they're going to go right at that edge that Bolts is not there. Okay? And come on, let's face it. <laughs> Colin, Colin Farrell and, uh, and uh, I forget the rookie that we have, the uh, second, second year player, they're not going to do it. We need Nick Bolts. Yeah, and as far as Kyle Shanahan goes, yeah, he's a great coach. Like you said, seven years. Come on now, we've been to three instant championships. We 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 lost that Super Bowl. Okay, but you know, hey, out of all the coaches that are in the NFL, I will. I, there's no way I would want to give up Kyle Shanahan. That, okay, that's fair, Lamar. I appreciate the call. I don't think any. I, Cleveland Farrell and Drake Jackson, by the way, just for not Colin Farrell, not Colin, not Colin Farrell. <laughs> Colin Farrell playing defensive end would not work. No, it wouldn't. Um, they would, they would run, they would run right at him. By the way, uh, <laughs> uh, Mike Tomlin uh, talked to the media. By the way, when does 
When does Kyle talk this week? Today. Yeah, okay. A little bit later. So I guess he'll I say that. Right. 1240. So during the oh, show today. Okay. I guess yeah. he'll. Yeah, it'd be interesting to hear what Actually, he says. Actually, the more the better so I can help educate. Uh, this is Mike Tomlin. Uh, there is a game on, on Sunday. Mike Tomlin's talking about the Niners. Take a listen. Starting on the offensive side of the ball, man, I think it just starts with Christian McCaffrey, man. We just got to respect the dynamic playmaking ability that he has both in the running game and in the passing game. It's very evident how significant his addition has been for them. I think prior to his addition, they were averaging 20 points a game. With him in 2022, they averaged 30 points a game. And so 10 points with the addition of one man. He's dynamic in the run game. He's dynamic in the passing game. We better be really careful about being matched up against him in space. Um, he's a one-on-one -on -one space winner. They have a lot of one-on-one -on -one space winners, man. Uh, he might be the most dynamic one-on-one -on -one space winner at running back in the NFL. Kittles might be that at tight end. Debo Samuels might be that at receiver. Their run-after ability with their offensive eligibles is really impressive. Mike Tomlin is uh, talking about the uh, the 49ers weapons. Let me let me ask. Go ahead. No, I, oh. I no, I didn't have anything. Oh, I thought you were going to say uh, jump in there about McCaffrey. But let me ask you this: when when McCaffrey got to the Niners after they traded for him, they went they they obviously went on a run. I I was pretty impressed, and the reason I was impressed was because it's not easy to incorporate. You brought in a guy who touches the ball more than any other player on the team except the quarterback. Like he has he has the touches. And it does feel like the 49ers, at least Debo Samuel and Kittle, are you know, they were okay with that because they they saw that he made, you know, the offense more dynamic. The the question is, is there enough, you know, are there enough balls to go around if McCaffrey's touching it twenty four times a game? The answer to that question is yes, on the surface. I, I really don't think there's anybody to worry about, though, other than Ayuk, as far as... Right. But, like, Ayuk's the only guy that I see complaining about touches. Debo got paid already. Kittle has been paid and, and doesn't really complain about touches. I mean, who are we really talking about? Like, is there Ayuk. enough to go... Yeah, I mean, we're, we're talking, talking about, about Ayuk. Ayuk. Ayuk's in a contract, you know, he's up to get paid... But, the Ready thing, for a breakout year, needs no, you know, wants to have numbers on this high profile team. I just think that I think they're gonna have to bite some, you know, the players are gonna have to bite the bullet. I think it's gonna be McCaffrey, and then one week it's gonna be somebody. And then the next week it's gonna be somebody else. And then the next week it's gonna be Ayuk. And then the week after that, it's gonna be, you know, Kittle's gonna have that big game. But the one thing I do think is McCaffrey. You think this team was a Super Bowl contender before McCaffrey? I mean, the answer going into last year was yes, but the answer when you watched him play through seven games was no. I would agree. I I, I would agree on that. He 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 got him to another level. Uh, by the way, Mike Tomlin thinks uh, Bosa is going to be there. Yes, we are preparing for Bosa. It's it's prudent for us to assume that he is going to be there and prepare in that vein, as opposed to be surprised. Uh, we were in a similar circumstance with a dynamic rusher a couple of years ago in TJ. We got a deal done at the 11th hour. He showed up in the stadium, and he was TJ Watt that day. And so that's what those guys do. They show up, and they are who they are. We know the type of player that he, need, that he intends on being, and so uh, that's something to be dealt with. Yeah, he's under the impression he's going to play. And, you know, when we're talking about Bosa, I, I, think, I think you're right. This, this is – Poised to reach another level. However, we still got some time. We still got some hey. time to get Bosa in here and smooth this thing all over. Get him in. Get him paid, obviously. Make sure that he's ready to come in and play at a high level and, and he's not going to be you know worn down by the fact that he hasn't been, you know, maybe maybe isn't in football shape, although I, I think he's probably as close to that as any player could be given given everything that, that he goes through, and and just get through the first three, four weeks of the season. Like if, they, if they got him in in the next three days, whether he plays in Pittsburgh or not, whether they win in Pittsburgh or not, right. you know, this team could still be 3-1 and one, four games in, and at that point we look up on October 1st, and it's all right, they're 3-1. and one. Bose has been in for a month almost, 
everything's fine. Like right. unless there are obviously the new problems that can pop up over sure. the course of an NFL season. So but but that's still very much on the table as a as an outcome here.